हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड प्रिंसिपल प्लेन वेयर लास्टली वी हैड टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रिंसिपल प्लेन एंड प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसेस वेयर अगेन वी सॉ आल्सो द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल प्लेन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेकंड पार्ट दैट इज इक्वेशंस फॉर नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस टेंजेंशियल स्ट्रेस एंड रिजल्टेंट स्ट्रेस फॉर जनरल केसेस these all things we have understood already in the first part this is the second part so here is our topic that is equations for normal stress tangential stress and resultant stress for general cases so basically here we are going to see what are the equations to find or calculate normal stress tangential stress and resultant stress for general cases now what are these what are general cases for any principal plane so here uh, the first case is only one direct stress is acting see here only one uh, direct stress is acting that is at 90 degree sigma 1 we can say there is no any other stress is at 90 degree no any other uh, shear stress is acting here is the plane on which we are going to calculate this uh, normal tangential and resultant stresses this is our case 1 we are considering case 2 two, two direct stresses uh, that is principal stresses on perpendicular planes are acting here uh, we can it is not required to mention principal stresses because if uh, the stresses are uh, at 90 degree or we can say normal uh, stresses then it is obvious that it is principal stresses so here there there are two principal stresses one is sigma 1 here the sigma 1 and another is sigma 2 we can calculate uh, normal tangential and resultant on this ef plane at any angle it may be any angle theta from the vertical uh, right now we are not concerned with that but the thing is this is our second case where uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 are two different uh, stresses at 90 degree i mean we can say that uh, perpendicular to each other sigma 1 and sigma 2 both are perpendicular sigma 1 is is orange color and sigma 2 is in pink color then case 3 one direct stress sigma 1 this sigma 1 on both the side in orange color and shear stress tau are acting here equal and opposite shear stress is acting in pink color so this sigma 1 and shear stress both of these are acting and we will calculate all the things on this plane ef at angle theta with the vertical so this was our third case and uh, the fourth case is two direct stresses and shear stresses are acting so here sigma 1 this is sigma 2 okay so sigma 1 sigma 2 these are normal stresses direct stresses or we can say principal stresses acting on a plane and uh, shear stresses equal and opposite shear stresses on this plane again here equal and opposite shear stresses on another plane also so two direct stresses and two shear stresses overall four different stresses are acting over here and uh, we'll analyze all the forces tangential resultant and shear stresses on this plane ef at angle theta so uh, to find normal tangential and resultant stresses on a uh, inclined plane ef so these were the planes what we saw ef for any of the uh, above four cases we can use the following general equation we have in general equation uh, for uh, for uh, calculating normal tangential and resultant resultant stresses are sigma n sigma t and sigma r sigma n is uh, normal stress on inclined plane ef the plane what we were going to analyze uh which is acted upon sigma n that is normal stress we'll calculate this by that this equation sigma t that is a uh, tangential stress sigma t uh, or we can say shear stress tangential and shear stresses are one in the same on the inclined plane ef so here don't get confused with this tau it is shear stress this is also shear stress or we can say tangential stress both one and the same thing but this sigma t is the entire uh, shear stress and this uh, tau is shear stress acting uh, is the shear stress acting externally on the our uh, plane this tau 
this is the external shear and uh, this EF is being calculated. So based on that we can see that uh, tangential forces, I mean uh, shear forces or tangential forces acting on the plane EF will be equal to this equation. And uh, sigma R is the resultant of both sigma N and sigma T that is normal and uh, tangential stresses. Now I will read the equation sigma 1 plus sigma 2 upon 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 upon 2 cos 2 theta plus tau sin 2 theta. And uh, to calculate value of uh, sigma t tangential stress sigma 1 minus sigma 2 upon 2 into sin 2 theta minus tau into cos theta tau is shear stress. And uh, resultant of both of this is under root of sigma n square plus sigma t square. In this way we can calculate normal tangential and resu resultant stresses on the inclined plane EF for all the four cases what we saw. These are the abbreviations. Uh, sigma 1 is major, di uh, major direct stress, sigma 2 is minor direct stress, tau is shear stress, theta is the angle of inclined plane EF with major principal plane. Here this. We can consider major plane as this. Right now we are not having the value of uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2. So we are assuming this as ma major principal uh, plane and uh, this angle theta is the angle of EF. For case 1, that is, uh, let me check, this is the case 1, here, sigma 2 is 0 and tau is 0, here there is no sigma 2, there is no shear stress, so both of these are 0. For case 2, we have uh, this, this is our case 2, sigma 1 is also there, sigma 2 is also there, but there is no shear stress, so only shear stress is zero and uh, for case three here only one direct stress sigma one and shear stress tau are acting so sigma one is also there and tau is also there so sigma two is zero here sigma two is zero here uh, and uh, i have not mentioned anything regarding case four because everything is mentioned over here sigma one sigma two and tau so no nothing is zero so friends this is all for uh, the, about the second part where we understood more, more how to calculate normal tangential and resultant stress on a principal plane uh, particularly inclined at any theta and the name is EF plane. This is all for today. Thank you for watching and in the next uh, video we will understand what are the equations for principal stresses and location of principal planes. So how can we calculate principal stresses? And uh, how can we know the location of the principal plane? So, thank you for watching.